Good morning and thank you for joining us. Our morning outlook will focus on the dollar yen, recent developments, and its potential impact on the markets. Let's hear from Greg in our trading room. The dollar got a slight bump of 0.1% against the yen in the last session. According to the stochastic RSI, we are in an oversold market. The Bitcoin dipped a slight 0.2% against the dollar in the last session. The ultimate oscillator is giving a negative signal. The gold dollar pair dropped 0.9% in the last session. The stochastic RSI is giving a negative signal. The oil dollar pair made a minor upwards correction in the last session, gaining 0.1%. The stochastic indicator is giving a negative signal. Thank you for sharing with us. Now let's hear from our news department. OPEC and allied nations have agreed to eventually raise the production limits imposed on five countries, ending an earlier dispute sparked by the United Arab Emirates that roiled global energy prices. The financial app Revolut last week fetched a blockbuster valuation of $33 billion, bigger than NatWest, after an $800 million fundraising from private equity giants SoftBank and Tiger Global. South Africa's unfolding turmoil is putting emerging market political risks in focus, and traders are hunting for opportunities in currencies vulnerable to political hazards. Thank you. Now let's hear today's most important economic events. The U.S. NAHB Housing Market Index will be released at 1400 GMT, the U.S. three-month bill auction at 1530 GMT, the U.S. six-month bill auction at 1530 GMT. The Eurozone's construction output will be released at 900 GMT, Germany's German Buba monthly report at 1000 GMT, Japan's National Consumer Price Index at 2330 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join our next review for the latest news and events from the financial markets.